All right, Mike, let's talk about our, I don't know if I really want to talk about the forecast. I'll let you talk about it. <laughs> well, let me put it this way. If you were to put down some chalk, I know where we could get some water. <laughs> In fact, pretty much them, everywhere. Yeah, pretty much falling out of the sky right now. They're giving it away free. Now, We've got to a point in the forecast where we're going to have to look for the bright spots and there are actually several over the next seven days, just not anything that's going to be particularly warm. I want you to keep your mind on this number right here. 62. That's the 30 year average for today's date. Yes, we did not meet that mark again today. 56 was our high. That's four degrees warmer than it was yesterday. Things are moving in the right direction. 39 in the overnights was six degrees below average records. Yeah, we weren't even close to that, but we didn't put any rain in the gauges out at SeaTac today and that sunset at 816 was spectacular. Seattle waterfront is Tranquil now. There were some showers moving through earlier. Currently 47 degrees and a light wind coming in from the west northwest. In fact, temperatures sitting steadily in the mid 40s for most of us. We've got a couple outliers 42 in Forks right now, 49 in Tacoma. Otherwise, yeah, we're all just kind of on the same boat together. Quick check off towards the east there. 48 Wenatchee is quite a bit warmer than the 39 that they've currently got going on in Winthrop. So here's what's happening in the big picture. You take a look at this. First of all, there's a lot of pixelation going on there. And second of all, it's the same thing that we've been tracking over the last couple of days. Nothing particularly well organized. In fact, the system that's moving in right now is going to move into Oregon and give them some heavier showers, but there's abundant moisture out there. And so as we've seen over the last couple of days, you start to put some sunlight and some warmth on that and it triggers some of those showers in the afternoon. What you're looking at right now are radar returns. This time of night, radar really has a hard time kind of differentiating between clouds and rain. More clouds than rain out there right now. But as we take a look at the Seattle Metro, we do see some pretty steady rain moving up that I-5 corridor, basically from Seattle all the way up through Everett and towards Arlington there and we'll continue to do that until about midnight tonight as we zoom in on Seattle and out towards Inner Bay, Ballard, even out towards Laurelhurst and Broadmoor. Yeah, we're just going to see some showers that will kind of come and go in intensity between moderately rainy and some lighter rain there as well. Here's what to expect over the next seven days and again we're looking for bright spots. We will start off partly sunny tomorrow before some showers moving in the afternoon and then take a look at this 61 on Friday, 61 on Sunday. We'll hit 61 again on Tuesday and and wait for it, 65 on Wednesday.